Up front at 930, a little over a decade ago, a violent explosion changed security at OU football games and put the campus on edge. It has been 10 years since the FBI officially closed its investigation into a student who blew himself up outside a crowded OU stadium. And now the FBI has just declassified documents related to the bombing and Fox 25's investigates Phil Cross is here to tell us what you were not told about the bombing and what federal investigators still want to keep a secret more than a decade after the suicide bombing bomb. Phil. That's right guys. This is that FBI report. It's 37 pages of previously classified documents related to the FBI's investigation into Joel Henry Hendricks III and the bomb he used to kill himself outside a crowded OU Memorial Stadium. There are hundreds of more pages we're still waiting to review, but these documents show what the public was told about the investigation in 2005 did not include all the information about the troubled young man who built a bomb and took it on campus. October 1st, 2005. The University of Oklahoma football team was on its way to a victory against Kansas State. Went outside the stadium. Everybody goes that way. We heard a loud boom. Um, we assumed it was some kind of an explosion or some kind of uh, just a boom. The first thing we saw were the police mobilizing a large, large group of police. That was a young Keaton Fox, now a reporter for Fox 25, then a student journalist who witnessed the explosion and the chaos afterwards. The body is believed to be that of Joel Henry Henricks III, a 21-year-old student at the University of Oklahoma. OU President David Bourne would say it was the act of a lone individual, and there was no evidence Joel Henricks III intended to hurt anyone else. Inside his off-campus apartment, federal officials found more high explosives. But inside the FBI reports, agents report they found a laptop with what appeared to be a suicide note, text typed just before he left for campus. It read, F all this, none of you are worth living with. You can all kiss my ass. The FBI notes Henricks had been a National Merit Scholar, but lost the status due to dropping grades. Just before the game that night, a ceremony was held to honor the university's National Merit Scholars. We are apparently dealing with an individual suicide, which is under full investigation. At no time was anyone in the stadium in danger. That was the official narrative immediately following the bombing and remained that way in the final public report. But according to the internal documents, agents turned to the FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit, who surmised that while only Henricks died in the blast, the evidence showed he may have meant to kill other people. Many sections of the report remain redacted. Some of the redacted elements include interviews with friends and associates about his and their religious and political beliefs. The records show Henricks had been referred for counseling, but the report redacts details about what Henricks may have been thinking or planning. Ultimately, while the evidence reported by the FBI indicates Hendricks was potentially a threat, he was not part of any organized terrorist group or ideology. And whatever his ultimate plans were, they ended on October 1st. Now, we requested an interview with OU President David Bourne, but his office turned down our multiple requests. Now, today, in an email, a spokesman said there were no developments in the case and no evidence Hendricks meant to harm others. However, that statement was made without OU ever requesting to review these newly declassified documents received in this case, guys. All right, so is that why we're just now seeing these documents? We not have had access to them? That's right, the FBI declassifies documents after 10 years. So it was actually Keaton uh, Fox who worked on this 10, you know, last year starting to try to get these documents, get them from the FBI. It's been quite a challenge. It's taken us a year to get our hands on just these 37 pages and we're working on getting the rest of what we're told about 10,000 pages of documents. Wow. Mm. All right, sir, thank you. And if you would like to read the full FBI reports, we've put them on our webpage. Just go to OKCFox.com.